Oh, but I do have an exciting thing to tell you guys. Are you excited? You guys, look at me doing some damage here. What's going on, muchachos? So it is 12.28 and we are just chilling at the house, waiting to like leave to go to Edom's appointment. It's at one o'clock. It's like literally right down the road. Yeah, we're gonna go bye-bye for Edom's surprise. And he's actually adding to it. So yeah, it's a surprise. We can't say. They have to keep watching to find out, but you're gonna probably find out like within like the next second or two probably here but um yeah it's like honestly this whole situation is very spur of the moment something we thought about on a saturday made the appointment on a sunday like literally last saturday last sunday so like two three days ago and then yeah here we are so um but yeah so i'm pretty excited about it i think i feel like more excited about it than you now i mean i'm sure you're really excited but i mean i feel like i'm just here Excuse you, little lady. That's too loud. I'm too loud? Well, who came over and sat on my lap? You. So you gotta deal with me. Do you guys hear how my daughter talks to me? So. Okay, bye. Girl. Sometimes you gotta put your kids in check. Um, but what was I talking about now? Whatever, I guess it's not that important. But anyways, yeah, so we're just chilling. We're actually like on time, but watch, we're just gonna sit here and sit here and like get lazy and then totally like probably be late. Ooh, but I do have an exciting thing to tell you guys. We finally booked something for our Tokyo trip in September. And yesterday was literally three months. I just hit my glasses. I have, I always do that with my hands. I'm very expressive with hands. Anyways, so yesterday was actually three months till our trip, so like, it's now less than three months and I'm just like so excited. And we booked our hotel for the first three nights. And I am super, super excited. And then we're gonna go and stay like on like the Disney land resort compound we're not staying in an actual disney hotel but they have like a resort compound so it's like the disney grounds and so anyways that hotel's within that resort so we get like guaranteed admission into disney and stuff like that and which is a plus because if they sell out or like whatever if you buy tickets in advance but it sells out like what am i trying to say basically if the park sells out if you stay at one of their like certain hotels you're guaranteed admission into the park so we're guaranteed admission and i was thinking about buying the tickets in advance but um everything i read is like you just get like you print it on your computer and then you go and just like take the paper it's just like a sheet of paper but i heard like the disneyland actual tickets like park tickets are super cool and they don't let you get a park ticket in like trade of the actual paper so i want to do that i want the actual like ticket you know i said the same thing he was like no i want the actual ticket so we're gonna book Disney or like get our tickets when we get there. And we can also buy the Disney tickets upon arrival. So when we check into our hotel that night, cause we're gonna get our hotel the night before we go to Disney, we can buy our Disney tickets at the hotel. So I'm super excited just about everything. And I like double check the whole transportation so we can do like hotel transportation or airport transportation to the hotel. So I don't know, I'm super stoked. So that's like the first like three days, like or three nights really, two and a half days figured out and covered now we just have to go and then book the rest of our well one only one other hotel but we're gonna go like more into like tokyo tokyo so i'm super excited oh my god you guys Isn't she like the cutest human you've ever seen? I think yes. But all right, I'm gonna go. So we're gonna leave pretty soon. And I'm so excited, you guys. But all right, so anyways, we'll see you guys at our destination. Are you excited, honey love? Are you excited? I'm so excited. All right. Sneak peek, guys, if you have any guesses.
look at him, he's like all bandaged up. He's like bandaged here, bandaged there. Oh. So we're on our way to Target right now because Gorda says she doesn't want to go home and she really wants to go to Target, which I kind of want to go to Target too. I want to check something out. So that's where we're headed. I know, you I too. Know so we're going to cool on her. What does she want? Oh, really? Oh my God, she's been asking for it for the past three, four days. Well, see, I'll like, don't, I know. Don't ask me. <laughs> she's like, what? <laughs> go to a Toys R Us really bad because of like all of the clearance and stuff like that. Especially I heard they have like a really good deal on their books. So, you know, I like having books and I want to get more like Spanish books for Gorda. But anyways, so yeah, we're on our way to Target. So we can go more. I will have, because he can't talk to you guys right now, but I will have Iram explain his tattoos to you. I'm pretty sure you, the back one for sure, I'm pretty sure as soon as you saw it, you're like, oh yeah, I know exactly what that is and like whatever um but i love his tattoos and honestly the second tattoo so the back one was a they were both a spur of the moment thing we were talking about it on a saturday i texted her saturday made the appointment on sunday so this one was literally Tuesday. an hour before but this one was not even an hour it was like 30 yeah it was no, like an like hour no. like an hour before i was like Edom was like, I want to get that tattoo. Well, he's been talking about getting it for oh, a while. Oh, no, she wants to show the shirt. Oh, you want to show muchachos? Hold on, guys. Amen. So you see that shirt? When Edom saw that, he was like, yep, that's what I'm getting no, for No, it's funny because I said it was the face. Yeah, he was going to just get the face. but and I Googled it. That's the first image yeah. that came out. So yeah, it's kind of funny that she's wearing that shirt and that's what he got a tattoo of. It wasn't because of the shirt. He's always wanted an Iron Man tattoo. He just never knew what kind of Iron Man tattoo, where he wanted it. He used to want it like on his palms of his hand because you know like the Iron Man has the thing. But I know. And Alondra wants Anna and Elsa tattoos. She wants one on each arm, forearm. So, so Laura, who is the tattoo artist, says she'll do it, you know, when she's older. So anyways, but we, Laura is awesome. She is such a good tattoo artist. She touched mine up. She did, sorry baby, both of your arms. Um, but yeah, she's great. She's awesome. And we met her because her son and Elantra were on the same t-ball team. So it was really, 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 really cool. Yeah. I mean, she's she's really, really good artist. Um, and she has really good stuff. So definitely, as long as we're in the San Diego area, all of our tattoos, future tattoos, right to her. But I'm so jealous that he has one. And I'm like, want to get another one so bad. I do know of a tattoo that I want. It's not like major and I know exactly what I want and where I want to put it. Um, but I just don't know when. I mean, I could have. I know she's going to a concert. She, um, but yeah, so it worked out pretty good too. So, but I'm like, yeah, I just know. So maybe I'll be next, but Edom already has like two other tattoos that he wants to get. So, but these were, like I said, spur of the moment. So yeah, once we get home and Edom like takes off the bandages and washes them and you know, does what he has to do. Yeah, they're a little swollen right now. He can like show them to you and explain them to you. So that way you guys can know. But yeah, that's the surprise. So yeah, pretty surprise. good day. Surprise and happy Father's Day. Those are his Father's Day presents. So yeah. But all right, so we will see you guys at Target. First stop, you guys already know, Starbucks. Number one, here you go, Sa. Thank you. Number two. You guys, look at me doing some damage here. Well, this probably doesn't look like a lot, but for me, this is a lot. But I'm gonna try it on. Spoiled now, it's my turn. I know. You got spoiled my turn. Ooh, I like those shorts. Look, these are cute. Probably like sleep shorts. They look like mermaid. Oh my gosh, Gorda, who are you? You shimmer and shine. Wait, which which one are you though? Shimmer is this one? Yeah, I got this for go to that Target. She was begging to go to Target. It's too big on her though. And she, sleeping. yeah, you were sleeping. She ended up falling asleep the whole time. And I saw this on a sale, really good sale. Came with the outfit and the necklace and the two bracelets. So I was like, I'm gonna get it for her. And yeah, I mean, I couldn't beat the sale. It was $15.99 for all of that, which is a really good deal. If you know like these princess dress up clothes are expensive. I love it, you look so cute. All right, so let's do a Target haul. So that's the first thing that I, that I got. And you guys, I went in there specifically into Target. Well, it actually worked out good because we have like three Targets we can go to. That Target is definitely the farthest away from us. But 
I was like, yeah, let's go to that one because that one has a Starbucks and it's nicer and bigger. And I was like wanting a Java chip frap. So our other two don't. Wait, does the one in Bonita? Yeah, the Bonita one does have um, a Starbucks, but I feel like that one is like always picked over with stuff and doesn't have a lot because it's attached to a mall. So anyways, I went in there, you guys, specifically looking for blind bags. Oh, and it actually worked out good too because the one that we went to has an optometrist, like an optical. And so... Iram, I don't know if I told you guys this, but the glasses he's wearing right now are brand new glasses. These are, sorry, that was getting blurry and it was bothering me. So, um, the glasses he has are new, but he noticed, like, the prescription was off, so he went back and told them, like, it was bothering him. So, they ordered him new glasses, and it was, like, taking, like, it was, like, two weeks, and he's, like, ah. So, and he hadn't gotten a call yet from them. So, he's, like, you know what? It's good that we're here. I'm going to go there and then to the optical and ask them, like, hey, do you know, like, the status of my glasses? And as so we're walking in... He had just got a voice message from that Target Optical that his glasses were in. So it was like fate that, you know, like we went to that Target because his glasses happened to be there. Because like I said, that is the farthest one away from us. But we were like, let's just go there. And then too, it's funny with my our Starbucks drinks, I had exactly $10 on my gift card. Our total was exactly $10. I don't know. Today must have been our day. So like I said, because I couldn't find what I wanted at Target, I went in there looking just for these blind bags. They're like the Disney My Mojis or Emojis. I don't know. And then there was like, I think incredible ones. But anyways, um, Alondra is obsessed with blind bags, but I don't ever buy them for her because it's kind of like, I feel like, I don't want to call it a junky toy, but it's not like a toy that she would like learn anything from, or like, I feel like she would like get bored with it easily. Like she would open it up like Kinder Surprise toys. She opens up a Kinder Surprise and she's like, okay, cool. And then she doesn't really play with the toy after that. I feel like that's how the blind bags would be for her. She really wouldn't like collect them like others do. So I'm like, eh, although the surprise is fun and it's cool, I'm like, I'm not gonna spend three to like seven dollars for a blind bag toy because they're expensive. But anyways, my friend Kirsten at her Target, they're selling them for like 50 cents, 65 cents, but like certain ones. And I was like, oh my god. I'm like, Alondra was like, I want them. So I was like, okay, let me go to my Target and see. So I want to go to this Target to see if the those certain blind bags, there's only certain ones, are going to be on clearance for like 50 cents or 65 cents or whatever. I couldn't find them anywhere. So that was a bust. But I did find that. That's a really great deal, $15.99. Um, and yeah, I mean, especially with all the little extra accessories. And she's obsessed right now. She's watching Shimmer and China right now in the living room. But anyways, Alondra was asking for more juice. So I got her this V8 um, strawberry banana juice. She loves this juice. And so she doesn't drink a lot of veggies. You have to throw that in the fridge. And then just to be safe, I'm going back on cranberry juice. I used to actually always drink cranberry juice. Like every day I had at least one glass, even without a UTI. But I stopped that. I used to take cranberry pills. I stopped that too. But I'm going to get back on them. I'm going to see if Costco has them. Um, so I wanted to get those two juices. And then, speaking of Alondra, I have to like hurry up and hide these. Um, for Christmas, because I've already looking at Christmas gifts. So if I find something on clearance or a really good deal, I'm buying it. Um, you know, that way I can just stock up on these Christmas gifts. When I went to the swap meet maybe two or three months ago, they had a Rapunzel dress with a bow and arrow for like $7. So it was normally $30. So I bought that. I'm saving that for Christmas. And she loves these heels. And these are Rapunzel ones. I feel like every Target we go to has um, different characters. Sometimes they don't even have these. And these were on sale for $3.99. And they're normally $5.99. So I was like, let me get that. Because that'll be perfect to go with her Christmas present. So that's staying till Christmas. Then, you guys, I got... I basically, like, spoiled myself. Um, so, oh, yeah, I got Edom two deodorants. The other one is somewhere in this bag but yeah I spoiled myself you guys I was like I really want shirts I need shirts and you guys know I'm so cheap that I typically don't buy anything clothes wise for myself unless it's on clearance not today y'all I got one shirt on clearance though um but yeah so this is the first shirt I like the little crisscross in the front and then like the bunching on the bottom and then in the back it you're not gonna be able to tell it has like a high low effect but I feel like this angle, you're not going to be able to tell. But I feel like this is not a color that I would typically wear. And I just think it would be really cute for like spring, summer. Well, summer's going to be here like next week. So, but yeah, so I really liked it. Um, I, oh, I also got a new bra because my two bras are like so tight on me that they hurt and I don't wear them anymore. So, and I realized I don't like underwire anymore. So I got a new bra. This was like the Gilligan O'Malley. I love Gilligan O'Malley. Gilligan O'Malley and, um normally 21.99 but on cartwheel it was fifth no 20 
20% off, so yay! Also, this was on Cartwheel for 20% off, and it's normally $14.99, so those are the only two things, of course, on Cartwheel. This shirt I got on clearance. Um, it was on clearance for $2.40, normally eight bucks. So I was really excited. And I actually wasn't even trying to get this on clearance. It was just like chilling on a table. I really loved it. I love like this kind of like ombre. And it has like a pocket right there. And like, yeah, these are like my favorite types of, well, I don't have a t-shirt from this, but it kind of reminds me of like my two Old Navy shirts. So I was really excited about that. And $2.40, yes. The next shirt I got, I'm really in love with too. This was full price, $16.99. And which way does it go? This way. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I really like this like black and white striped and I really liked this bunching in the front. I don't know, I just thought it was like pretty cool. And then that's like kind of how the back looks. But I don't know, I really like it. I have like, my stomach is kind of like, is definitely a problem area for me. And I feel super unconscious about it. But this like, cause of that little design in the front, like you can't really tell i don't like that knot right there like you can't really tell and it like sets really good at like your waistline and with like my high jeans it looks really nice and then um this last thing i'm like oh i can't believe i spend this much money on it you guys 27.99 which is like stupid expensive but i saw this you know like on you know scrolling on facebook or instagram you get like advertisements from like target or I always get them from Sephora, Old Navy, and Target, always. And they they get me every, well they don't get me necessarily because I don't ever buy, but they get me as far as like, I'll be on the website just looking at everything, and I never buy. Well I saw this today actually. It is a kimono, not like a kimono kimono, you know, but one of those, oh, I can't make this work. One of these like cover ups, you know, and I just love it, I love the pattern. I love the bagginess of it. It's supposed to be really baggy. I actually got it an extra small because they didn't have my size. They only had extra small and like double extra large. I mean, that was massive. I really wanted like a smaller medium, but this actually looks good. It's not too tight. Um, and I don't know, it's like you can't see the cuteness of it, but it has pockets on the bottom and it's really long. And I like that. And I just figured like a white tank, some jeans. It's just be like really cute. I don't know, I really loved it. And you know, I'm just like, honestly, he's like, I really love it. It's super cute. So. I say you get it. So, anyways, you guys, that's my Target haul. So, you know, I got spoiled with his tattoo. I got spoiled with some clothes. And Alondra got spoiled with her Shimmer and Shine outfit. And she's, like, super happy. Like, she, because she was asleep. And when we pulled into the, um, the driveway just now, she was, like, like, waking up. And she's, like, no, no home, Target. Because she was asleep through all of it. And we're, like, what did that we only went to Target? And I could tell. She was, like, oh. And I was, like, but like look at the seat and she's like huh like because she was like half out of it and, and i'm like oh my god what is that what is that and she looks at the seat and she's like oh, shimmer and shine like and so she got super excited and forgot that she missed the target trip so it was it was good and also it was kind of nice that she was asleep because i was walking around target you guys for like a good hour 15 like hour 15 minutes and just you know getting to walk around and enjoy life <laughs> they actually had a really cute shirt that said messy bun target run getting it done i was like oh my god i want that shirt but they didn't have my size so but anyways all right i'm gonna go ahead and put everything away and i need to finish laundry because i still have clothes in the dryer and clothes in the wash so yeah oh i need to hide these shoes that's what i'm gonna do first so anyways yeah i'm gonna clean up my mess and oh sorry i didn't realize it was that dark i should have known because of the lighting so anyways yeah i'm gonna clean up my mess and actually it's not a mess i'm gonna put away my stuff basically i'm gonna check in later it's actually a lot later you guys it is 9 18 and i realize that we haven't actually well i haven't actually showed you his like tattoos and he hasn't really like explained anything so um i feel like Iron Man probably doesn't really need an explanation, but I mean, I mean, some of you might be like, why? But I don't know. I'm gonna let Hiram 
take it over from here and I'm gonna show you guys this do like tattoo. A do a Q and A. Okay, we'll do a Q and A. Although it's gonna be my questions, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. But anyways, but if you have any questions for Adam about the tattoos, I guess, then you can comment them down below. And now I'll take my tattoo apart. <laughs> but um, yeah. Okay, so I will show you with the first tattoo, which was the original planned tattoo. This was not like it was not like planned but we had the appointment for it and we just added on the Iron Man one second so I'm gonna show you. All right so here is the tattoo. It's a skull holding the chef's knife with blood wearing a chef's hat. So it's really like red right now and swollen but that is blood what it looks like right now. So question Answer. what is this tattoo? Anthony Bourdain. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony Bourdain's drawing. He used to draw it like when he would go to places. So is this a memorial tattoo for Anthony oh, yeah, Bourdain? The way it is. And then and what's kind of chefy, so which is what you love. Yeah. So it has it's like mainly more uh, memorial. Memorial tattoo type yeah. of speak because you guys know Yidam loves Anthony Bourdain. We all do. I mean, he's beloved. So, but it has a dual meaning. And we both love the idea that if you're not like a huge Anthony Bourdain fan, you would see that on his arm and have no clue. So it's kind of cool. It's like a hidden, like a yeah, secret. Yeah, not a lot of people know about it. Yeah, it's almost like a secret. But if but you he are would, like, sign something for somebody or whatever, he would draw that and sign his name under it. Yeah. So. So if not you're not a lot of people know what exactly what it is. Which it's is like the people that know know. Yeah, that like no, Tony, you know, you then know. you know. <laughs> so yeah, anyways, so that is this tattoo. I love it, I think it's sick, I think it's awesome. I like that it looks like a drawing, yeah. not like a some, perfect I drawing. Mean, some he had with hair, some he didn't. Yeah, some skulls he did fat, so every drawing is a little bit yeah. different. But anyways, that's that first one. I love this one so much. It's bloody, you can like definitely see the blood a lot, like, on his face and stuff on the yellow but I love this one so much it's so friggin cute so anyways obviously well if you don't know this is Iron Man but like a cutesy Man. cartoony version of Iron Man Team Iron Man all the way and you love Iron Man mm -hmm. so that's why it's getting dark again I'm Iron Man. <laughs> So yeah, no real meaning behind the Iron Man tattoo. No, yeah, it's just a uh, cool. Just a little. I saw one of those shirt. Yeah. And I was like, ooh, I want that. And I googled like cartoonish Iron Man, and this one popped up. I was like, ooh, I want that one. And that's what and he did. And then she changed shirts to the other Marvel Iron Man shirt, shirt. And I was like, hey, it's, it's the, the same, same thing. One. Yeah. So. Yeah. But yeah, but. Plus, he's been wanting an Iron Man tattoo for a long time. I wanted the hand. Yeah. <laughs> like the actual Iron Man hand with the thing, but on my hand, it wasn't gonna work. Yeah. Well, I guess you could, but that would be kind of dumb. But anyways, those are his tattoos. So now he has three, and he's caught up to me. So that means I need another one. I already know another tattoo I'm going to get, which I am gonna do a tattoo video because I know a bunch of you said you want me to do like a tattoo video, so like showing my tattoos and explaining them, which I'm going to. But yeah, there is another tattoo that I want, um, but it's small and so most tattoo places have like a minimum charge and so the tattoo that I want like literally probably like this big, like nothing and I don't wanna pay an 80 or a hundred dollar minimum for something that small that'll probably take like five minutes ten minutes to like It'll take longer to set up than yeah actually. exactly so i want to like get a not like a huge massive piece but you know like a good size decent piece or get something else plus add that on if that makes sense so and yeah and the tattoo was super quick it took her an hour to do both, both tattoos like an hour that's it that and the iron man took the longest because of all the shading but anyway, so yeah, I'm obsessed. Um, if you don't like them, you can keep it to yourself because we don't really care. So just saying, just saying that right now. Just saying. But um, but yeah. So anyways, I'm actually gonna go ahead and end the vlog here because a lot. It's 9:25. 
Alondra and all her cousins are here and they're staying the night. So trying to pull her in here to have her say goodnight to you guys is not gonna happen. And it's getting late and I'm just gonna fall asleep. So yeah, you do. And do your lotion again. But, um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna end the vlog here. So I hope you guys did enjoy today's vlog. If you did, don't please. Thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye, muchachos.